Uh, good times. Oh, you run it back? Okay. Yes, indeed. Now I gotta go. That's the main one. Let's go. Sometimes uh, you gotta do that. Want to say? You know what's wild though? I yo my intro into like starting yeah. to, to just to start the rap. Be ready. It's, I, but like then, then the bars just don't. The bars don't be there though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but like my intro is like yo, yo, like you know how you playing double dust chord. You doing this? Mm-hmm. Yo, my 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 this is nuts. But then I jump in the rope and that shit just starts slapping. Oh, the rap is pretty solid? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Come in wild crazy. Yo. Mm. Yo. Mm. 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 Tell me what you're trying to be. Let's go. That's sort of how Pitbull and Cardi rap. Yeah. Nah, they didn't want me to do this, did they? Mm. Uh. But we here. wasn't ready. Yo. Mm. Uh. Caught. Uh. They yeah. wasn't ready. It's time for the money, my nigga. Re- <laughs> <laughs> you done? Hey, yeah, I'm finished. Okay, cool. I'm making sure. All right. This time is for the money, my nigga. You have like Birdman. No, it still died. <laughs> say one <laughs> sentence. I'm refreshing now. Birdman's I always stay refreshed. What you Bird, mean? Birdman's oh, still, yes, we are. We good now. <laughs> Look at that. Rap about fucking spinning rims. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Jack? I see all these cars. Can, can I do the introduction? Go ahead, sir. I'm all right, appreciate you. <laughs> You're surely here, DJ Knotts, checking in for another amazing edition. I love the energy I off to it, though. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, is that what it is? Okay, maybe, you know, feed y'all first it's and then we Tuesday, go. Tuesday, my boy. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, another edition of Pause for Pause Podcast. Here alongside my partners in crime, the ones and onlys. Like my multiples? It's mm. well, man. Okay. Well, a thrill. <laughs> Professional shit talk extraordinaire. Level the people, the coach, and everything about it. Here. <laughs> what no, I don't no no no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> don't Tony, don't get this nigga no more new drops none I said watch this watch this Instagram what up Facebook what's good y'all oh I'm about to do the uh, fan base thing too courts here yep I'm here all right <laughs> so this nigga gets the he gets the horn you know why yeah, yeah. you know why you know why. Pick this is his first time officially on camera. Everybody get to see the voice that they've been hearing for this long. Oh, I'm on it. You I'm know on, what I'm saying? I'm on film right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you men on film. Let me check my posture, man. See, you now I'm about business. Don't do that, big. Right, relax, 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 Court. Because right, a minute, he, in, my a minute we'll, in a minute, he can be back to calling you black. So don't do that. Just relax, oh, man. man. Yo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo. So while we over here, I gotta add this, right? Mm-hmm. So pre-show, we're, we're sitting there talking. He was like, "Yo, one." I f- we know we talking about the color of the wall, and I said it was something some beige. I said, "Yeah, I've been called beige before." Ha ha, laughing, joking. Eh, true, but it is what it is. So court goes. One of the names I never would fuck with was black. Like I wasn't gonna let nobody ever call me that. And then it got it got me to thinking about like everybody you know with the name black is a wild dude every single time. Mm. Like no objections without upset. Like I, Africa, what up? Ed, uh, you know four people named black. Come on. Uh, any of them just like I get no forty people named black. That's what, what I'm saying, mean? but like all of them are like I put books on at least thirty of them. Like come <laughs> on, just I tell you what, go on Instagram and, and go to tags and put in hashtag free black. You gonna, <laughs> gonna see exactly what we do. All these, all these niggas are <laughs> so whatever y'all do, please do not refer to court as black. Man, don't do it, man. <laughs> All right, then we got we got enough shit over our head, man. We don't need no more, man. Oh my nah, gosh, that, that shit sound like your nickname. That shit sounds like the police will call you. Yeah, you feel like so, you don't live up to it. Black, correct? <laughs> no, <laughs> motherfucker. It's, my name's Courtney. <laughs> I don't even. I don't know who that is, Brody. Uh, that's not black. me. I was born in the like whole what? birthday yeah, and all of that. No, you got me missing, bro. We all we don't all look alike. It's He's not like, me. I'm telling you, I don't have a nickname. So what do they call you me. on the streets? They don't call me anything. Cause I'm not outside. Yeah. I'm not back to the streets. Well, thanks for back. clarifying that. I appreciate that. That was very well, very well said. Yeah, my fault. No, you good. So, nuts. Huh? How was your week? You trying to take my swag? Yeah, right, you cool. know. All right, that's cool. That's cool. It was actually very dope Um, because, you know, we were doing a lot of things. Hi. First of all, uh, shout out to everybody who came out to the Young Dolph mural and dedication this past Saturday. Um, It's been described as epic as a way to look back at it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, just the energy that was there, the people who contributed to it, um, Dolph's family came through, um, shout out Char Bates making that happen, you know what I mean? So it was, well, one of the people that made it happen, she was the main person, got us involved with Hip Hop Gets Back, um, and it was just good seeing family out again, because, you know, it's been a minute. Like, that might have been, eh, I'm not going to say that, because we've done some other events with Georgia Spartans that have been mm-hmm. very well, but something with that much meaning, and now it's going to be history and legacy, was, it was good to see, it was good to feel, um... Yeah, so if you if you get a chance, the mural is at the Atlanta Skyline Skate Park. I'm saying that wrong. Hold on. Let me get it right. Let me get, get it right. right. Let me get, get it, it right. Get Let me get, get it right. right. Yeah, uh, V103 came out there. Greg Street was speaking about his relationship with um with Dolph, which is also dope. 
Um, just a lot of a lot of good energy, a lot of good people, man. Uh, what is the name of this park? I want to get it right. Hold on. It's in Atlanta. Nah, it, it is. It is, and it's a dope skate park. It's actually not even officially open. They have ramps. Um, they got a lot of dope ramps. The, uh, yeah, the park's not officially open yet. But the main thing was they wanted to make sure we had a place to immortalize Dolph here in Atlanta. Mm. It's the Village Skate Park ATL. So shout out to them for allowing that to happen. Um, they're doing a lot of a lot a lot of really dope stuff. Um, when they do happen, you know what I mean. So. It's that was something that was tough. I look forward to. But go ahead. You was there? How, how, no, you I, it was a super dope space. I really, really enjoyed it, man. Um, Like, the way they had it set up was uh, it was skate parks. There was food trucks out there. It was a big time Let's family, family event. And I just think that's that's the part that I love. I love when we can all come together the, from big to small. I mean, old to young and just bring everybody out and have a good time. And um, like I said, honoring somebody who was, who was slain, man. One of, our, one, of our, one of the Memphis legends mm. in hip hop. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, yeah, without question. I mean, just influence alone. Hey, court. I just we like. said trends, trends, bringing it in, bringing it in. I promise you that ain't me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loving it. Court, you were there. How'd you like it? Yo. Was I there, Knox? <laughs> Couldn't really tell. Yo. <laughs> This is what I tell I'm everybody. Screen, what's up, this is Kyle Park. What's up, G? Um, this is what I got to tell y'all, man. When it comes to my events. Uh huh. You know what? You know what? Got game, in, the man. Pa- in the past. Call your assistant. Nah, you, know, mm, you can do that too. Strong, um, but nah, everything's on my page. Like you know, if you want to know what's going on, call me, and I will gladly tell you. But you're not holding me responsible for everything I no, got going right. on. That's the piece sure, of you know. of social media. <laughs> right. It's always like enough of that topic. Let's wrap that up right away. Is, it? <laughs> is that your phone? Is your phone connected? That's what yeah, your Bluetooth is Bluetooth. Like you say, watching videos or something. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Uh, we said so trends. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. I was like, why are the Afrobeats playing? <laughs> <laughs> the timing is impeccable. It's, um, it's amazing. What was I saying? No, you, no, you, no. you were telling how you uh you left court out because you don't like him for this weekend. Go ahead, finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're black. So, you know, that's <laughs> 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 what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. See, I brought that back. Yep. Yeah, I saw you. That was a call back. Well played. Hey, hey, well played. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's like I've been doing this for like twenty years. Anyway, but not in the future though, because I do hear a lot of a lot well more complaints than I want about people saying, "Yo, you should have told me about this." I'm actually gonna put together the text line if you want to know what's going on with me and what I'm doing, because I do appreciate the support. Let I me mean, not like act, act like an asshole all the time. I got called asshole like three times. This, anyway, the point is, oh, I'm gonna put it. I like it. Nah, I bet. Means you're human. The point. Thank you, man. Yeah. See, see, course here for a reason. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But no, um, yeah, I'm going to put the text line together uh, this week. And so all the updates will go out on there. Um, weekend schedule, weekly schedule. Because now that we are starting to be free again. Mm. Um, give us free. Yeah, give us us free. It's going to be a lot more a lot more events than I'm out uh, doing and speaking and contributing to mm-hmm. like it was before. And, and me personally, I missed it. Like, bro, it's it, it's been a lot. You know what I mean? When I'm always talking to people about purpose and doing things and feeling right and giving online. back and you don't get to do it. Doing it online is one thing, mm-hmm. but doing it in person and yeah. really getting to impact people and talk to them. Because it'd be the side conversations that oh, yeah. happen at these events. So, go ahead. I, I always, I, I thrive off the energy at these events, man. I, I, I really, really, really do love them. And, and like I said, I, 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 get, I get the most out of that because, like I said, especially ones like that when like kids are involved. Because mm. like, that, that's... That's who you're really trying to influence. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we, we can get us. But, like, like getting some other... Because somebody got to run this shit after after everything up. I mean, we still young, not, but, like... Some, you, you be speaking for some, me, and I'm like, somebody, somebody, gonna gonna to, somebody got to run this shit. <laughs> like, so when I see the kids interacting and, and really understanding what it's about and what's that, and it was like a... Okay, I agree There was that. a young artist that was out there. She performed. Like, it was just... I, I love the energy around anything positive, especially dealing with us. There mm. was some dope-ass artists. I seen a sister draw a picture in, like, 10 minutes. Mm. That would have took me, like... 10 months to draw that shit that good. Like, <laughs> she just got bit and like went down. It was a, I was like, shit, with paint, not yeah. like a pencil on a piece of paper. Yeah. We're like, went down on one knee and just started drawing like a mural. I was like, yeah. What's her name? Fuck. He's horrible. She, yeah. The she artist you saw my performing was Emily Diamond, though. Um, yeah, she was. Shout out Mama Camp. Um, Brought her through in a bunch of other people. Yeah. Mama Camp is always high. Shit was dope, dope well. event, man. Yo, Court, cool, you should come to the next one. Most definitely. I'm going to check Nas Page out. <laughs> Best way to do <laughs> And now you're going to have the text message. So I don't want to hear nothing. Right. If you don't subscribe to it, it's on you. Okay? Let's go. Don't do what some of my other friends do. And oh. I post it, send you a text, and then you still call me and ask me, so what's this about? Mm. You want to get cursed out? That's the way to do it. Mm. That's a good way? <laughs> Yo, that's the best way to do it. I ain't been doing none of that. I still nah, nah, you good. No, you Beat don't. Beat me there. Don't no, you don't. no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't do that. Because <laughs> it's, a, it's a few... 
they were like, yo, what's really going on with this? Like, did you yo, read fam. it? Yeah, but still, I want to hear from it's, you. There's no underlying thing behind it, bro. It's not a secret society meeting. Man. It's like <laughs> you had to read between the lines. Yeah, it's really what it says it's about. Like, it's it's what? it's really gonna be that. Yeah, turn it turn a little more. Got to get the, the hoodie needs some needs some shine. Love we doing, I, I we doing you. A, yeah, thank. We doing a hoodie sale this weekend, by the hey. way, as well. Get your side. So, no, we get back that we get back to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, that was that. Yes, indeed. What else you want to get to? My favorite set. Nah. Wait, I'm gonna even ask you that. How was y'all weekend, man? I know I kind of oh. blew back. No, that was blew, a th- blew, that was my back. weekend. Blew past that. No, okay. I think well, our weekends were kind of connected for a change. So I actually had something. Yeah, it was good seeing you, brother. Yeah, it was good <laughs> seeing you outside outside the studio because y- y'all know I be saying yo, we don't do nothing, and yeah, what was definitely damn, in there, bro. Am I wrong? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'll be trying. I'll be, in my mind, I'll be having plans to come outside, man. Mm-hmm. And then what happens? Yeah. Outside be outside. Yeah, it should be outside, and, and I don't be <laughs> outside. Be outside, and I'm yeah, like, ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I had plans right. to come out this Sunday. I was like, ah. with a BQE. Yeah, I was that ready is. too. Oh, I wasn't looking forward to that. I was like, ah. Um, me wants to know what's in your cup. Orange juice. It's an emergency, <laughs> right? It's COVID out here. Fuck you, mean like, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> That's all it is. It's emergency. <laughs> it's a strong sip. Y'all stay safe out there, America. Yes, indeed. Court, did you do anything of interest? Um, Break not, some ankles? Not interesting. I learned something new. What's, what you learned new? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It, it might be common knowledge, but I didn't know that, that you haul contracts with people, like regular people, that and to use their locations. Like, say if you own a business. Okay. And you're in a certain lot, they will mm. contract with you. That was a whole wild well random just Yeah, now. it's very, but it, it's, I learned it's something court, new this though. week. I was moving, basically. It was oh, court, you moved. I moved all weekend, so oh, yeah, I, I was shit. trying to rent the truck and... Yo, thanks for not calling me, yo. It's just a funny story about it, man. I pulled up to this location, and it was some random beat-up type car spot, Mm -hmm. car mechanic spot. So you guys know, I'm 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 pulling cars off file. I'm I'm, I'm like, yo, this can't be it. You know? It's not the one. Yeah, and it was just an experience. What's all these tires doing here? Turns out this was it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, you all has like that mad spot. They'll be be at mad mom and pop gas stations randomly, too. Yo, it's always some rinky dink, but excuse yeah. my yeah. No, you're good. Something, I mean, that's what, it's a th- thing to learn, you know. So, mm-hmm. you thinking about starting one? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the whole process was just way too difficult. Yo, how 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 <laughs> the move go? It. Thanks for I, not calling I, me. That, I appreciate that. that. That's what I said. Like, I appreciate it. Oh, Lord. Please don't call me. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't even I don't even want to, to try to ask anybody. I already know how it is. Ricardo, you, what up? That's one of the hardest things you can, you can get people to do is help you move. Yeah. Even no, if you tell them ahead of time. It's still like, listen. No, I'm not. I'm not. Stop. On the hey, list of things, don't call me. <laughs> like you a job, Dead yo, ass. yo. You need, you need money. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can work with you. You need yeah, how you, much the movers? You need some. <laughs> yo, I've done that several I times. A, I got a buck on it. I'm not coming. <laughs> CT, what up, man? Peace. <laughs> that's not the coming. best part. Look, first, first, first question somebody asks you: after you ask them, can you help them move? They'd be like, "When you moving?" Because they, no, they already got plans. It don't matter what day you say, my nigga. Every weekend for the next twenty <laughs> years, nigga, I'm busy. <laughs> Well, you know, I had to. Uh, you know, not going with the damn, up, bro. I just got booked. <laughs> damn. I can yo, I got that so many ways too. out of it, yo. <laughs> yeah, so that, if I help, cheating. yo, if I help you move, it means a lot. Like yeah. we have so a you real. Only help, so you only help women. Yo, we, nah, I felt uh, some of the fellas too. Don't do that. When I move, nigga, you yeah. Better. <laughs> All right, shit. I, like I said, certain ones. Yeah. That certain you you, you want to find out who your inner circle is. Yeah. Try and move. Yeah, That's how you find out. Come on, right, that's a bar. Wait a second. Yeah, Hear that. Right. But I don't fault people because <laughs> I, I know I'm the same way when it takes. Oh, that turns. move is hell. Yeah, that shit ain't nothing nice, man. I, I, was, I was the last person I helped move. I was telling her, and see, now I'm proving your point. But I was telling, I was like, yo, I didn't buy a washer and dryer until I bought a house. Mm. Like I was not moving that up and down. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I I had some throwaway furniture. Mm. <laughs> Impact mm-hmm. no, <laughs> leave it. I Listen, learned that the hard way. We don't way. need that. Yeah, leave yeah. it. I don't want it. The yeah. Most of these luxury apartments don't have like a contingency plan to help people get their stuff moved into their. No, into sir. Their mm, I see what you did there. We had to pull everything from, the, from the first floor to the sixth. Come on. What? Come on. Yes. Everything. Wait, wait, say that again? The what? first floor to the sixth floor. There's no elevator? Upstairs? There was elevators, but you, it was a long, long hallway to get to the elevator. Oh, and okay. Just, and the stairs seemed better? Okay. Man. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't call me, bro. We, did the right we put thing. a lot of stuff on the elevator, but we didn't want to clog it up with all the, th- nah, with all fuck the stuff them we people. had. So we, we took some stuff up. <laughs> Respectfully. Took, after a certain point, everything got put on the elevator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all got yeah, after the that second trip, like, yeah, you know elevator. what? Because it's like, yo, you got the stairs right here by the truck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you can either go, you can go take the long hallway yeah. and put it in this, put it by, put it on the elevator. Yeah. I'm going to take really the long just, hallway. It was just, it was trouble, man. I ain't going to hold you. I'm glad we here, though. You should have pulled up. You should have pulled up. I'm glad it's over. You should have pulled up to the Home Depot. You already know how I do. Boy. 
I, 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 I would have yeah. thrown some, throw you some, <laughs> I would have thrown you some bucks. Just we got that, yo. Yeah, that'd have been a perfect yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the Home Depot parking lot, bro. Yeah, facts. That's so why I get mad work done. <laughs> How come Lowe's ain't like Home Depot with that? Oh, they I'm don't just know. wondering. Nah, nah, they know. Something about that orange. They know it's it's, it's it's Home Depot. Actually, it's not even Ace Hardware. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? The pilot hole. Let, let people. Uh, Home, okay, Home Depot got the shade tree shit on lock. The truck stop gas stations. The pilot. Oh, see, you know, but you know, oh, they, got some, they got something else waiting out there. For <laughs> you. <laughs> you know, yeah, be careful out there. All services. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hang out in truck stops, buddy. <laughs> right. Me lizards running around. Chill out. <laughs> so be, about those six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now come on with it. Versus. Oh, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about oh, it. Gosh. Mr. Anthony Hamilton versus Mr. Man. Music Soul Child. Bro, I, can I is say. Is it Valentine's you, Day or was it the day it after? It is Valentine's mm. Day, in fact. Is it? It is. Okay, that's interesting. Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, February fifteenth. That's not Valentine's Day, Will. It's not. It's, not, it's the day after. <laughs> it's, it's not okay. I didn't know how many mo- how many show. days was in November. It's all good. <laughs> November thirty first. No, I know what Valentine's. <laughs> you, bro, I, you think I'm gonna be able to get away with not knowing what Valentine's Day? Is? Exactly. Oh, so you just playing with me? Like, yeah, I'm listen, fucking with you. Listen, I, yeah, it's my, parents, it's my parents' anniversary too. <sighs> That's beautiful. Guess what I is forgot? It? How you playing that? I don't know. Mm. I know. That's, that's a lot to do. I know. We'll get it from there. Yeah, I keep going. My yeah, we should have reminded him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so now yeah. versus day after side chick day. So side chick. Oh, that's what it is. Hit, hit that for that. Go to um black. Uh, no pun. black. Hit it for you. Go to black. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Tuesday, Stop February fifteenth. All right. So all right, let's hear it. Who you got? Anthony Hamilton versus Music Soul Child. Yeah, Sir right. Anthony Hamilton. All right. So before before I pick, when you're never connect, you, like, you still a Sir Hamilton. You know the R and B verses be like more of my favorite ones because I, I know I'm gonna like every song. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like sometimes on the rap ones, you know, sometimes like they'll play a record, you'll be like, yeah, this shit wasn't it for me. Like Anthony Hamilton and music both have more than 20 records that I actually love. I love the setup. Like, so I'm really just gonna, like, I'm really gonna sit back and enjoy that one. And yet, you haven't said who you're picking. And I'm picking music. Okay. Why? I don't even got a valid reason to be honest. He's the only one I met. There you go. That's what you're going with? Nah, that's not what I'm going with. I'm uh, about to say, like, that's some, some that's shady. That's wild shit. Uh, yeah. Nah, I like music, man. I like both. This is It's I a hate, tough one, right? Yeah, I hate yeah. when this shit is like this, man. Yeah. You don't know me. I'll be ready to bash somebody after yeah. these verses. Yeah. I ain't even got it in me, man. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. And the thing is, we got a whole other week before we really got to do our um, real prediction. Oh, wait, it's on a Tuesday. And it's, it's a Tuesday. And it's during the show. Mm. Mm. Live watch alone? Nah, we'll be gone. They think they started not early. Is it nah, eight? Nah, it's 8.30. 8.30? Mm-hmm. Okay. 8.30. Nah, we'll give our predictions leading up. We got the pregame show for the verses. That's nice. I like that. I kind of like that. <laughs> the pre, fucking pregame. But let, let's not ruin the conversation for, for now. So, Court, what you think? And it'll be good hearing court, your- Court, do you your, care? Court, do you yeah, know either definitely. one of these brothers? Most <laughs> yeah, most definitely. All right. I like my R&B now. All right, yeah, definitely. definitely. All right. I tell you what, though. I got my candles and my incense ready. I'm setting the bottom. There you go. Definitely gonna be lit. Burn it down. Yeah, I'm just I'm a big neo soul fan anyway. Are you? Like, yeah, most definitely. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. So who's your favorite? Uh, my favorite neo soul artist. Yeah, we'll go with he, that. He picking out of the two or uh, nah? Yeah. Let him rock. I was, go, I was gonna go Anthony Hamilton. Okay, and then you got Jill Scott. Okay, you know yeah, like them Jill. too. Because my mom was a big Jill Scott fan, so I didn't have a choice. But um. That's yeah, right, Anthony right Hamilton most definitely. I feel like he's going, What's he's going to win. Well, no, we say the score for next week. Just yeah, Anthony Hamilton yeah. to win. You got music. Got we do the rounds and all that next yeah. week. Because, you know, I think it's going to come down to whoever throw the most roses on the stage. But that's another story. So mm. that's just another angle that coming down with it. So. So without a score, who you got? I got a little background. Go. <laughs> I love a good story. I've seen both of these brothers live. Killers. Mm. Man. Same Killers. show? Huh? No, not different show. They cannot do the same show. I saw I I saw (laughs) I I saw Anthony Hamilton at the Fox, and I want to say it was him and Jaheem. Anyway, it was him. Rest in peace, Jaheem. What? Huh? Wait a minute! Don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that. that. Wait, he alive? Don't do that. Oh shit! My fault. Go ahead. Why you thought Jaheem was dead? What? The last time I saw him, he like he was on his way out. Yo, last time we saw him, he put the woman first. (laughs) Hey, you see what happened? Yo, this yeah. is right, my fault, man. To too, much, too, soon, too soon? My, my fault, man. I was I was like, I'm a Jaheim fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, please don't, don't give him no more new drugs. Wait a minute. No, go ahead, man. You saw him at the Fox. Skeletal open for him. Go. Yo. I look, man. I'm you going to double down? Nah, I'm a Jaheim fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm a wild Jaheim fan. Yo, I hate. But go ahead, man. We're not going to Jaheim yet. Go ahead. Anthony what did he Hamilton do to you? Go. What did he do to I'm you? I'm a giant fan, man. What did he do to you? He yo? put that woman first. Mm. 
That's what he's you, supposed to do, though. You see where his ass is at now, right? <sighs> All right. Really? Say I'm not less. following where this is going, yo. I, I, I don't know. I'm pointing know. out the obvious, my nigga. Okay, all right. And obviously, yeah. Maybe somebody else helped me. This nigga got red hair. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Nah, I'm done, man. Go ahead, bro. You seen right, it. Yo, enough. at the Fox, man. Anthony Hamilton. You killed it. Go. Yeah, bring it back. Like, I forgot where I was even going with you the story. DJ, man. Back that nah, shit. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> pull up, nigga. <laughs> Nah, yo, bro, I, you need to do some type yo, of interview. Yo, they still shooting free something. throws in for the tech. The tech yo, you oh, I got tossed already. Yo, look. <laughs> I might be suspended for the rest. <laughs> hey, you're done, my yeah. yeah. You know you don't fuck that, right? Because <laughs> I stopped and I was like, wait, did I miss an announcement? Like, nah. nah like, yo, man, okay. Go ahead, bro. Damn. <laughs> Guess we ain't getting Jaheemas again. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's in the spirit, right? Nah. Let me see. Right, yeah, I'm sorry. See, don't do it. You start. I got your back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tag team, man. Come on. <laughs> Let go. So Help my point me. is, I saw music. Live Fox concert. Theater. <laughs> no, and then with the Fox. And it was actually a first date. Oh my gosh! Mm. I OD. I OD. God this is, damn, this bro. Oh, I OD. So you was made. Okay. What you mean by your OD? I No, first date. First date. Oh, that's tough. I deliver something to do. And you know, mm. like, yeah, you know, it's just. I ain't buying one ticket, I'm buying two. I'm buying two. You mm. know what I'm saying? Movies. She, nah, I'm not doing that. She can't say no when you offer that, though. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> Shit, I got Anthony Hamilton tickets. Oh, uh, what time you need me to? Yeah. Uh, you gonna come get me? Yeah. Or, like, yeah, l- listen, this is a mistake I made. This is going back. This is 2022. This is? had to be. Oh my gosh, so many years ago. So this is early Anthony Hamilton. This is, well, is there an early Anthony Hamilton? See, we shooting at everybody. I love, I love. <laughs> early Anthony Hamilton, my favorite. But go ahead, go ahead. Early Anthony Hamilton is like what, 96? Not for me. Hell no. Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's, that's way earlier than I got. Yeah, on. 96, 90. Yeah. yeah. That's way earlier for me then. Yeah, no. Anthony Hamilton been around, bro. Like yeah, yeah. his so writing, from, Jermaine yeah. Dupree, oh, yeah, all of that. I'm talking about like solo yeah. album Anthony Hamilton is what I was starting from. The, the stuff you know from the videos? That's what you're trying to say? No, early on, like when like yeah, that Anthony Hamilton. Alright, first of all, let's go positive for a minute. I don't know any nineties Anthony Hamilton. Let's go honest. let's go let's go let's go back for a second. Mm-hmm. You need to go back and find and listen to that early Anthony Hamilton. Okay. Like the brother got some classics from back then. Like some, for real. Put some respect on it. That's all I'm saying. Naturel, what up? Um, but that's what, that's the focus that okay. that was coming from. So this is might have been. I need to go back and find them ticket stubs, like because I really I'm I'm struggling trying to remember what year this was. It wasn't in the nineties. We got no. Nah, it wasn't in the nineties. No, I couldn't afford tickets back yeah. then. No, plus he wasn't opening. Right, he wasn't tearing it down yeah, like nah, that. He wasn't Listen, opening. When I say he felt like church in there, yeah, he gets busy. Yeah, it mm-hmm. it, it was something else. It was something else. Um, but all all of that to say, it it, it felt like an arena. Have you been a Fox City? Y'all been a Fox before? Okay. It felt like there was more people on top of us and around us than it really was because of the energy that was in the building. Yeah. That's what I was originally going for before you killed off Jaheim. But so I was using that as oh, a... We can't let it go. Chop nah, what you mean? I'm just recapping, you know, to make sure in case people don't, don't miss anything. That's it. Yeah. Okay, ahead, Jaheim, what up? Yeah, he won't see. Jaheim rolling over in his grave. You talking about him? Right? Uh, whoa, wait. No, stay focused. Stay Sorry, focused. Stay focused. <laughs> just for a minute. Just for this topic, and then we can go somewhere else. Hey, yo. Because I see you trying to get to the shade room stuff early, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> Oh, Whole spiritual word as well. Like, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's focus for a minute. Light promo. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> music, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I've always connected with music since his first joints. Like, you talk about favorite Neo Soul artists. Like, mm-hmm. music is right up there. Him, Bilal, um, Indy, all of them was, that's yeah. when I was rocking well, that's when, the that's, Paperboy yeah. hacks and all of yeah, that. That's when, you the, know that's when the, yo, <laughs> that Neo Soul run when everybody, like, when Philly had, like, fucking nine people where they oh, hold the concert by themselves. Yeah, Soul Aquarians. Like, it was retarded, bro. Yeah. Like, Flow Tree. Well, what's my other? Keep going. What's my, uh. Indy Ari. Indy Ari. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, Glenn Lewis. Rob, what up? Yep. Uh, Glenn Lewis. Shout Glenn out to T. Uh, who's Flow Tree? Y'all gonna keep repeating the same one? Alan, okay. Was it Alan Anderson? What, what was dude name? <laughs> was it Alan Anderson? What was dude name? Was Alan Anthony. Alan Anthony. Shout Alan Anthony. Out Philly. Oh Remember that? man, that's a name right there. Why, yeah, that, yes. they had a wild run. Like, what are they drinking? It was retarded. That, all of that to say, I'm going. This was the original question. I'm yeah. going with music because his music. Actually, I'm gonna ask yeah, that in a second. Fun. No, no, no. I'm gonna go there for a second. No, um, I think he has bigger, bigger hits. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, Anthony, Anthony Hamilton, Hamilton has, has some legendary classic. You. Not even just his duets. Like he got yeah. joints with people like you wouldn't even. Man, 
Thomas. Yo, you know they good when we got to put like disclaimers on it like that. Because it's like you can't yeah. jump out the window without yeah, nah, the one. You cannot. You can't. <laughs> you cannot. So, I, seen it, I was like, I want to watch this whole shit. All of it. <laughs> I'm here for every song y'all about to play. Mm-hmm. Go. I want to. I want to hear all of them. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but um, go ahead. But no, I got I definitely got music too. But like, but it's not. It's not one of those. There's zero going to be when we do the numbers. There'll be zero disrespect involved. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. It, it just will. Like, I'm gonna say it's one of the verses where you just you just appreciate good music, bro. If, if you give me some cognac and fucking Charlene, come on, I ain't gonna lie. I'm be like, yo, you know something, bro. <laughs> so you do come on. It's gonna be hard to you for you to really knock this shit out. Yeah, like that's why I was gonna, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna like come it's down like, to the flowers being given. Yeah, like because <laughs> and that's why I think both, by both of them and Neil Soul, they mm. they seem different. Like this, they, they are seem, different. They're different. Like they different. Anthony Hamilton is more neo, well, R&B soul, and music is definitely more neo soul hip hop. You know what I mean? But it's still the main difference is the soul part, or mm-hmm. the main um, yeah. um, similarity is the soul part. So that's why I say it's going to be tough. But, you know, th- my, my secondary question was, whose music have y'all used more in your lifetime? And when I say used, you know what I mean? Anthony Hamilton. Okay. I'm sorry, I was- no, nah, it was just a question. Yeah. I'm just saying. You say used, not. I mean that that was my inflection. I, I got music, so try and hold you. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 done, I done sent that song off. You know. Let, let, this listen, is, this is me thinking about you. <laughs> I will love you if you teach me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> yeah. That song that got sent off a few times. Oh, that shit gonna be so good, man. You think? You think? <laughs> You think music hitting that high note on love? Oh, it, it, listen, he's doing all of that, bro. Oh, I knew you were gonna have to lock back in, but um, yeah, that's why I figured that's a good way to a uh, good teller of what. Damn, you're knocking all the tables over. Thank you, brother. Um, I figured that was a good teller or distinction between how you're gonna choose who's winning. But then you said you use Anthony Hamilton more, right? That's what I, you said. I do. Okay. Oh, I have. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. So it matches up with who you're picking. So where I was going with that, the psychology, what I was thinking is how it relates more to you on a personal level is yeah. who you're gonna go with. So face what up. Yeah, but I'm I i can not I can't lie, man. I'm just looking forward to the, this this one as a whole. This is gonna be one one of those ones where like I know I will be entertained watching the whole thing. And yeah. then it's probably actually a chance they might start on time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's on a Tuesday, yeah. side chick day. So the last time I'm I seen he pointed that out. So the last yeah. time I seen music performed was at the tabernacle. Mm-hmm. So this is Oh, that besides the other spot, but that don't count. The tabernacle. <laughs> the other spot. Yeah. So I know I told the story before, but like that was the first time I ever seen life. Oh. That's how long it was ago. Like I seen life. And I was like, A-O-U. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so he comes out, bro. When I tell you, when it's a new artist, he was like, all right, let me give it a shot because this might be, yeah. like, let me see what it is. Yeah. So his background singers come on, right? And they start singing um, the, the song from uh, the movie Life. Yeah. Life, life. But they are butchering it. So I'm like... <laughs> This nigga is about to be terrible. So you know this nigga come wow. out light skin, fucking braids like he fresh braids with a brush run over him. Like <laughs> so like so you so you I'm like, this nigga is not about to kill his shit. With a guitar, I'm like, this nigga about to be trash. Yeah. When I come he came on and tore that motherfucker down. You ain't realize he was fresh out. That's what I you ain't know, bro. I had never heard of him. He was still new, like no song on the radio, no nothing. Like yeah. And he went crazy, and I was like, "Yeah, that fourteen ninety two album was." I was um, like, "Nah, this this cat is. Uh, yeah, he's he, gonna be alright." Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, yeah, because I remember. <laughs> and as good as he did, music came on and fucking destroyed it. I mean, yeah, music is. Um, yeah, music still trying to better. That's actually a nice, good lineup. It's a good, you know. Oh hell yeah! You know what I mean? Between the two of them, hell I can yeah. see that. But nah, yeah, that fourteen that life in fourteen ninety two mm-hmm. album was. Just before that whole album, I, yeah. But that's uh, I like life man. But that he he got one. What you mean? Them other albums, wasn't it, man? Nah, he had a couple other good ones. No. All right. No. I mean, I only DJ for a living. But yeah, anyway, just, just that's one, fine. Just one good <laughs> album. Just one. some other good songs. Just one good album. Okay, cool. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. But anyway, so we're going to save our um, actual save scores. predictions. Save predictions for next week uh, since we got time. Shit, we got Knox two is weeks. going 17-3. Uh, basically, Music mm, soul child. Basically. Speaking of Valentine's Day. Speaking of. Y'all been shopping yet? Shopping? The brothers who are in relationships? Nigga, you shopping trick, trick question? Look at, look at the crickets. Wait a minute. You got a trick question? You know you're talking to us. It's like oh, going man. to a restaurant asking is the food good. Of course they're going to say it's good. <laughs> <laughs> How's the food here? It's delicious. <laughs> I'm just making sure y'all on the game. That's Yo. all. That's all. Yeah. They got to be, bro. I'm just, you know. I, I didn't say what y'all got. I mean, how much I dislike holidays like this, though. Yeah, no, talk about it. Mm. I fucking hate Valentine's Day. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, you know, all these fucking holidays annoy the shit out of me. They, they try to pressure you into buying shit. Yeah. They all bother the fuck out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, well, let's flip it for a minute. This this definitely has one. But but having said that, yes, I am going <laughs> to I've been work. working on this. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Having you said all me, of that shit. You want me to tell you the hardest thing about Valentine's Day for me? Speak mm-hmm. about it. the follow-up. What you mean? Satchik Day. No, the follow-up <laughs> with your girl. Because you know the energy you got to bring on that day. I'm, and I'm not saying that you're not supposed that every day is not, you know, that energy's not there. But on Valentine's Day, you know you got to yeah. exaggerate a little bit more. So it's just like the, the following days after, they looking at you like, where that? Keep with that energy at. Run that back type thing. Like, yeah. yo, like why you ain't acting the same type yeah. thing? You know what I mean? It's just more personal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see come what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you, you only acting like that only once a year? That, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you got to really follow up so it don't look. Yeah, so that, thing, that, little thing with your, that little thing with your tongue, you got to keep it up. Yo. <laughs> he said it not me. <laughs> Jazz Love of What's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Checks paper. I'm just wondering. All right. Pressure I'm just gets wondering. applied the day after, boy. No, no. I, I shit, don't ask me. I'm single solo out here, so you know shit. So no gifts will be purchased for Valentine's. I'm gonna get my daughter something. I'm gonna get my mother something. That's about it. Mm. I'm glad you That's said it. that. Yeah, forget about that. You be, yeah. you believe him? What? what, what yeah, I believe so. I like that. No said. No said. No said. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yo, Valentine's. Hey, that Tuesday about to be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna, put, we're gonna put the you're gonna put the uh the fucking the, the truth detector on Knox. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yo, I had to work. What Show me mean? receipts. Yeah. <laughs> Knox about to book I himself. I had to work. <laughs> but we gonna be here. What you mean? Knox gonna book himself for the day after. Listen, man, and I'm like, yo, I gotta give commentary on the verses, so yeah. that's part yeah, of yeah. I'm job. working right now. I got you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what day you moving? <laughs> <laughs> No, I tell when, it, when it need, hey, when, when y'all it need, need, wow. y'all need nice to move. Mm. Hey, call, call him on Wednesday. <laughs> He's fucking with you, right? <laughs> next next listen, Monday, listen. Monday before he get how many right, how I'm many done. movies? Yeah, done. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Finish, I'm having fun. You know, it's cool. It's all right. Good thing I feel safe. <laughs> it's a safe mm. space out here. Safe so. space out here. It worse. is. It is. It don't bother me at all. All right. I just wanted to find oh, out. Man. No, before we go. You know what? We'll come back to that. I'm going to save it for next week. Even mm. better. I'll be coming with it. I'll be coming with it. Okay. Live wire, what up? Um, Go ahead. What you got next? What you got next? What you got next? We moving. We grooving. We grooving. Whoa, Hold whoa, on. Whoa, whoa. Damn, that was extra. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's where we at with it. You know, so. Can we can we go to sports? Of course. Uh, just temporarily. Temporarily? Somebody set the clock. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> can we, uh, Jackson State University football player mm, and what? son. I hate it when you read. But <laughs> ja- let me put on my let, let me put on my super no, 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 radio no, 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 no. voice. Let me say why. Let me say why. Go. The way they write those articles is already horrible. So when I see a headline or something I want to read, I always skip the first paragraph. Oh no, I got the headline. But that's what I'm saying. Let me finish. Let me finish mm-hmm. because I know it's all introduction and fluff. The real question, the real answers that I want to know about yeah. is like the second and third paragraph. So I don't even read all of this. So it was all the other. It was a blustery well, Monday night. I don't yeah. read none of that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, well, we got we got to set it up for the audience. So all right. get this in. Y'all, y'all bear with Jackson me. State University football player. Oh, shit. OK. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell this dude's name. Is it Shador Sanders, son of legend Deion Sanders, mm. will become the first college athlete to sign name, image and likeness deal with Gatorade. The thirst quencher. Yo, they sound like they sound like you're playing, yo. That's that that's actually a big deal. No, that shit is fucking huge. Yeah. Which is yeah. why it's on here as a topic. Yeah. He sounded like Gatorade, yo. Hank, what up, G? A, 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 a kid from an HBCU was the first college athlete to sound with Gatorade. And I don't know why ain't nobody think of that first. Like that's a layup. A kid from an HBCU. Yeah. I mean, well, I with the last name Sanders. With the last name know. Sanders, yeah. You talking about the Gatorade yeah. deal? Yeah. yeah. Oh. For his name, image, and likeness. Yeah. Like Gatorade in sports is like fucking peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Like, so for you to sign that, you to be the first one to sign that deal as a college football player, mm. kind of a big deal. And you already know how I feel about HBCUs trying to take shit over in these sports leagues. Yeah. This is just a step towards that. Yeah. So now if you're an athlete, they already got the number one recruit in the country to go to that school. They got more than that one. And now, and, they and, got a few and now I see they getting Gatorade deals over there. That'll help. Now, That'll now help. I see they got legendary coaches over there. Listen, can you imagine what they are? Uh... All right. Why, why do <laughs> I want to go to other school for? What that commercial gonna sound like, bro? What? It's gonna be, it's gonna be yo, Sanders. Put, put, yo, bring the band in. It's gonna be the Sanders. The two band. chains about to be in this video. Hey, bro. I was gonna say little baby, but yeah, we go with two right. chains too. Like, listen, the two chains record with the uh, with the with the, with the horns in the back. Oh man, they ain't want to pay for that sample, but um, they can do something else. <laughs> Gatorade pockets deep. They can afford it. They can. Now they put chains in the video. That's they, what. They, they can. They can. Gatorade does a play of the year too, don't they? They, they sponsor Bro, Gatorade that. sponsors so much other shit. Yeah. It's not even funny. That's yeah. a big move, though. That's a big. That that's a big signing. Humongous. 
that's a big signing. It took me a minute to figure out what NIL stood. I kept seeing that in quotation. Like, what the hell does NIL stand for? So, what does it stand for, Not Names, image, and likeness deals. Oh, NIL. Yes, indeed. Chill. Yes, indeed. I did my research. You know, it's actually like, you know, we got a job to do. So, Lady Sunshine, well, what up, something I knew that Knotts didn't? Yeah, I know. Like I'm saying, like, listen, yo, you got it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to, you know, do your own research to see what's going on. But no, nah, that was Absolutely. a big deal. Um, I don't want to take anything away from that because that was, like you said, it was a, a first of its kind deal. Um, mm -hmm. And I think there's going to be many That's more after that. For me, yeah. yeah, that. And I think North Carolina A&T, they, they have a lot of connections as well when it comes to marketing. Um, just thinking about the stuff they've done with the past right. when it comes to different parades, things like that. But the future for HBCUs, sports and athletics is very bright. HBCUs in general, oh, fam. but definitely I want to focus on um, the athletics and what we're talking about because, you know, we focus on the bands a lot. We focus yeah. on the uh, legacy when it comes to HBCUs Absolutely. and what our people have done from that. But, you know, sports gets overlooked. So that's why I wanted to say that. And that's what generates the money. Yep. Like, and, and I think a lot of times like our HBCUs suffer because of funding. Mm -hmm. And what brings money is, is athletics. It's eh. just... A, I, it's just the truth. I'm tired. Yo, hey, hey y'all, the spelling bee ain't going to bring as much money as a football game. But I'm saying that, that Battle of the Bands, though. Battle of the Bands go crazy. It's, it's not bringing bring some much, bands, though. What's the biggest it's organized not events money. At, at a school, though? It's, it's not, the Battle sports. of the Bands. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not going to be, it's not even close to what it would bring if you was in a bowl. Like, you'll go, you'll get a million dollars to go play fucking Ole Miss on a Saturday afternoon and get smoked. Just yeah. for, like, for three, hey, here's a million dollars. You don't got to do nothing. You come in and get the hell kicked out of you. But that's, don't matter. But that, that's what I'm saying. That's newer now for HBCUs. But before then, it was very much so. Yeah. It was hard to get in there because a lot of times they were just trying to get on get on the radar. Like, we'll take a game. They were like, they were trying to just take Mag because they were trying to get on the radar. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you'll see like college football teams, they'll play some trash ass team and they'll smoke their ass. And you're like, oh, that team got killed. They should never play them. That little school took like a million dollar like check to take that game. Mm -hmm. Like it was worth it for them, like right. it was worth it. That shit helped. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I just think like, along with like, a, like we always talk about our, our, yeah, our artists is? support these HBCUs. Like, but that in itself, like having that, mm -hmm. you bring that type of light and they start playing. Everybody gonna flock to it. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, the big, the more athletes we get, the bigger the, the bigger the bowl games are, the bigger the checks gonna be. Like the more attention and light we shine on the HBCUs, it will only help us, and it'll and it'll then emphasize all the stuff that was really important to us about the HBCUs. Like what? Like the legacy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like like the other stuff that we that we want to promote. Wait, what, you know what up? I mean, I was oh. just um. Go ahead, Court. My bad. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to say agree. something. No, no, but. I kind of want to stay on sports, but since we're touching on HBCUs, mm -hmm. you know what? We'll come back to that. I'll let y'all finish the sports rock out. No, rock out. We're here with the sports. We come back no, to no, that. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's where I was heading next. Go ahead. Oh, you were? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So oh, look get, at you. So, learn. so get to it. Come on. <laughs> back board, so. That's not a good That's not a good one. Let, yeah, do do let me not do that. So I saw the news that broke today about, mm -hmm. uh, was it 13, at least 13 HBCUs received bomb threats today? Douchebag. Black History Month? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't just one person. That was definitely a group. An organized oh, yeah. effort. So I talked to my daughter earlier today. And she doesn't go to HBCU. And she, of course, she saw the news. So I was explaining to her where all of that was coming from. You know what I mean? How a lot of these group racist groups that don't like us and don't like our people or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They look at HBCUs as ground central. The foundation from where a lot of our future... Um, where our future lies, mm -hmm. and also people who deal with a lot of things, a lot of issues that come to like Black Lives Matter, things like that. So Check your it was it was very much so um, a targeted effort and focus on HBCU. So that's why it happened on the first day of Black History Month. And I wanted to make sure that she understood that even though she's not at an HBCU, it's right. a lot of things we have to watch out for just as black people, period. So I was asking her, like, yo, what's going on with your campus? Anything you notice? And she was like, nah, everything's cool. Nothing going on. Things like that. But they know a lot of our activists, a lot of our future leaders, a lot of our current leaders will come is from HBCUs. centered mm -hmm. come from HBCUs. So that's why they try these fear tactics. And, you know, thankfully, everything was just a threat. But it's just something when we got to think about um, in this long month of February. Mm -hmm. you, think, you think we've come to so far, right? No, 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 no. Not even come to. But I just want to think of us to remember that when it comes to um, supporting those at those HBCUs and or in college period, because you know we're very, <laughs> we are very adept <laughs> at highlighting what's hot. You know what I mean? That's true. Like when was the last time you saw an MLK Junior quote since last week? You see any this week? 
Have mm. you seen any Tupac quotes recently? Yeah. No. Nope. Have you seen any Frederick Douglass ones, any Malcolm X ones, things like that? We're very much, when it comes to social media, um, the current moment. Mm-hmm. And that's always been one of my big issues going back mm-hmm. to even before that. But I think with this kind of signification and people <clears throat> showing you or showing us how scared they really are and yeah, understanding that, that is, our influence. Yeah. The support needs to continue on for more than just one month and one day. There's nothing wrong with posting a Malcolm X quote in the middle of July. There's nothing wrong with showing the support for HBCU in fucking September. Every day. All I'm, just, but I'm just using yeah. it as an example to say we need to have that continuation of energy that goes on throughout the year. It doesn't have to just be when the calendar comes around. Because, you know, I've been on social media active since at least... When did Black Panther come out? Well, I'm not going to count Black Panther. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? I'm dating myself. Come here. on, man. Listen. <laughs> so at least, let's say from Twitter, 2008, and when you start seeing the same memes over and over again and the same quotes get used year after year and things like that, it's like, it's easy to fall victim to like, wait, does this stuff really matter? Or are we just doing it? And that's at least how I look at it. But it's instances like this when you have a concerted effort from maybe one or more than one groups that are focusing on it. Like, yeah, no. We need to pay attention and support our people and understand the changes in the energy that we've been putting forward is really mattering. It's really measuring right. on different levels that we didn't think it was before. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. Um, and I was glad I got a chance to talk to her about that. And, and she caught it, especially being in college right now. So, no, what up? Like I, oh, JP, what's good? Like when I watch and, I, and I, when people say like they, they don't think certain stuff is having an effect and I, and I watch the the... Like the extremes people will go to to try to slow you down for yeah. some shit that we don't think is having an effect. Mm. Hey, y'all, they they not gonna do that unless it's having an effect, right? Right. Like they think about that. Thirteen, yeah, thirteen, yeah, the, 13. at like, least thirteen. Let me say it right. And I know it's a topic we brought up a lot when when it's time to vote. Like, hey, if this shit don't matter, they wouldn't be pressing y'all trying to suppress everything y'all do and try to prevent y'all from doing it. Yep. If it didn't matter. Yep. Where did the threats come from? Did they say? No, I didn't figure that no, out. No, I didn't figure that out. Well, we know it's... But... We can imagine. I'll give you two it, guesses. Did they say it was students or, or fellow <laughs> students? I don't know. It was students. It was, it was I'll give you two guesses. You're going to need one. Right. Yeah. yeah, just think about the outside groups who <laughs> yeah, are... The ones who are opposed... That's what I was getting to. Remember our progress... Yeah, our yeah. progress of uh, progressive movements. Ones who oppose Black Lives Matter, not yeah. just the group, but also just the... I thought it was coming from in-house type. No, 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 no. no. Kids That's what you got for what I was saying? Oh, oh no. damn, I'm about to say, let me start yeah. off. Because, you know, I, at first, <laughs> and I ain't going to hold you, I, I thought at first, when I, cause I... All I seen was Howard at first from the headline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to read. So, yeah. I, all I seen was Howard. So, I'm assuming that it was probably one of the students that got fed up and was just kind of just know, talking that's, crazy. Cause nah, you know, that's No, remember, remember, once again, the relevance. Mm. Black History Month started today. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, I pieced it up. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like we got to pay attention to the signs, and that's all they're doing is trying to show um send signs. That's it. You see what I mean? So, like, hey, they 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 see the difference y'all making. Yeah. So salute to y'all. You know what I mean? Everybody that attends HBC, everybody who don't, everybody who's supporting supporting our people, like they see it and they see the effect that it's having. Yeah. That's why they want to throw a wrench in it. Yeah. Like that's why the enemy's like, yeah, hold on, bro. Y'all getting a little bit too goddamn strong here. Yeah, but that's the uh, thing. Let me yeah. back this shit down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, saying t- and it's no shot at you. Mm. It's not so saying salute is great, but the support is where the key momentum has to continue. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So it's great to say salute, yo, congrats, yo, y'all doing a great job. But it's about the momentum at this point yeah. that has been built. You see what I'm saying? When the new year VP is black, you know that that's great signification. You know, don't get me started on that. But the point is, at the core basis and the core challenges and the core way we look at change, it's. I'm trying to make a parallel without making it sound disrespectful, because we know how music comes from teenagers and kids right and it just cycles up from there right i think a lot when i think i noticed that that's where a lot of the causes and changes come from from the same students and that same energy and age group and it just cycles up from there so the same way we see uh, music and culture being pushed forward from our youth it's the same way we see activism and and guidance for change coming from our youth especially once they reach the college level, and that's what they recognize, and that's what they were focusing on. Well said. Yeah, y'all getting too quiet. <laughs> y'all can't wait to cry. 
Am well I going said. too deep? Like, no, 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 you good. Yeah, all right, cool. All right. Well said, well said. Well, hold on. So, uh, shout out JP for always ch- chiming in. I appreciate you, bro. He said, but this is why politicians locally and on state level matter, indeed. What they put into budgets for education and resources, and I think the rest, let's scroll up. God damn it. And, oh, no, I think he got cut off. Yeah, when oh, wait, scroll up, I thought, totally I thought he was about to go deeper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say for real. <laughs> I you, know, going, you know we live, right? Okay, no, it gets, cut, it gets cut off, that's all. But no, nah, nah, he's making a good point as well. So Definitely. Yeah, I, it's... I, I don't want to get into the whole political side because that's why we have guests coming up for. That's why we have other professionals who know this side of it, and we're going to have them on the show um, very, very, very soon. Very soon. Um, very, very soon. So trust me, th- this, this conversation is going to continue. I wanted to share my two thousand dollars worth of um, information, oh, wow, and, and, and yeah, yeah, not two cents. Why people always got to downplay the two cents? Let me get my two cents in. Like, I nah, spend mine. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Listen, yeah. I'm standing. I'm standing strong on my square. Listen, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking Bar, about. Yes, I know I'm how spending. I feel. So no, yeah, fuck. let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Where we at? Uh, we done with sports. I, we, no, we can't. The goat. Oh Lord. You want get what Lawrence Taylor do? Mm, <laughs> I like that. Oh Hello? my God. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Brady's in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady's on the phone. <laughs> so what the fuck you just said? <laughs> <laughs> you said the goat. I didn't know you meant quarterback. No. Nah, All right, go ahead. Speak on it, bro. Out of retirement of Tom Brady. Thank God. <laughs> right. Next subject. <laughs> That's all you got to say. <laughs> Thank God. Oh man. Yeah, dog. I'm gonna bro. let y'all I'll speak on it because I'm not. Nah, you know what? Hey, hey, Tom Brady became way more likable when he got out of New England. I'm gonna be honest though. Why when, is that? When he got oh, out wait, of there, you're a Jets fan. I'm a New York fan, period. No, no, don't he, do that. But wait, wait, Oh, I'm no, a super okay, Jets. In football, okay, I'm a Jets cool. fan. Okay, cool. But in New York sports, period, I don't, nothing in Boston <laughs> is a fan of anything in New York. Like, we don't fuck with them at no, all. We don't. Any, every sports team is all right for them. Listen. So get him the hell out of here. <laughs> like, but, but I ain't gonna lie, but once he got to Tampa Bay, it's a little more likable. A little, little, little bit cooler. Yeah, he's like, you know something? That guy's not half fucking bad. He was in fucking New England. Man, fuck that dude. When man. he stopped kicking y'all ass every year for, hey, th- for th- <laughs> two times a year, every year, bro, for fucking eighteen years, ass kickings. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's funny though. Hey, the but truth it, it is, is the truth, bro. Like I, I mean, it, it is what it is. But part of those years is y'all fought. Y'all hired Rex Ryan, but that's another story. So no, let's no, go. No, to- <laughs> you laugh. Those are the glory years. Fuck you, mean like you can't butt fumble? Retired. Really? Yeah, those are the good years. Butt fumble? Really? Hey, well, before that, all right, know, all right. Let's stay focused. You know, we went to two straight AFC championship games, right? And, and what happened? Nothing. All right, cool. That's what I'm just saying. That's all. And I got damn. Thing. Get ready. <laughs> that's all. Court, do you have some some words to share about the goat retiring? I'm cool with Brady. We good. We played, we played him twice in the Super Bowl and one. So. He gave y'all two rings. I'm talking about. Let's go. Yeah. Wait, he gave us. Wait a second. Y'all two rings. You said gay? Yeah. Nah, we earned them shits. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Eli oh, quarterback. Hate. We earned them shits. Get out of here. I'm not tripping on Brady, man. I got mad love for Brady. Nah, Brady. That's all. I can tell you, I saw the fuck with him after he left it. Then he went out with a bang, too. I ain't going to say a bang, but he went out on, on a good note, if you ask me, leading and passing yards at 44. Him. That's pretty yeah. impressive. So did y'all hear? Well, he went. He had a wow year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all right. No, he did. He did. Did, did we hear? How did y'all feel about ESPN and all the, that was going on? <laughs> oh. Fucking <laughs> I mean, early. Like LeBron early James, up. man. <laughs> He's going to Cleveland. <laughs> LeBron James going back. I'm like, chill out, bro. You I mean, they didn't even give him a chance to think about it. Like, his oh, last game, they were on him. They was pushing him out. on the field. Like, what you going to do? Get him the fuck out of here. Bro. Yeah. I Not just even got... how was the game? So you're done? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, God, we damn, it up. <laughs> I think he just got frustrated with it. Kind of fine, I'm leaving. Go ahead. Right, right. Can we size up the jacket right now? Can yeah. we get your gold jacket? But yeah, bro. The, it, it's, it's part of the reason why I stopped watching a lot of those sports channels. NFL Network, ESPN, all of them. It, it gets nasty, and it's just like there's no objectivity. And I understand it's Tom Brady. I get that. And he deserves his recognition, his congratulations. I get that. But the, when they start acting like the Messiah has is, is leaving, I was like, yo, I got to put y'all on mute. I mean, it's a lot of cats that don't got Super Bowl rings because of this guy. So, I, yeah. so you, you think know, it's deserved? I, How they were talking about him? As far as what? The, the, well, the, they, them edifying him? And yeah. Up? yeah, most definitely. Okay. Nah, yeah. bro, he's the GOAT, bro. Okay. Did you watch Did you watch any of those? Did you watch Sports Center? Nah, I seen Okay. Enough. That's cool. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, I, yeah. So you know, know what I'm personally. saying. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Okay, most cool. Definitely. Okay. The whole week, that's yes. all you see. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's just guess getting started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait. Yeah, just, a, just, just the nastiness of the story. Tom like, Brady, LeBron James, and Dallas Cowboys. That's, oh, my gosh. You want to know about them three? Just. Go on, hey, national media, bro. Yeah, That's what sells. And once again, I'm not you trying to take away from his accomplishments. I, I, it's just the uh, sounds like you. The are. Jo- I don't care. That's fine. I could, I could back up what I'm saying. It's wow. like perfect example. What I made, what made me put the t- the, the, the show, the TV on mute. 
mm-hmm. he was like, yeah, I forget the, the guy's name. He was like a beat writer for the Patriots. And he was like, yeah, you know, I brought my kids to one of the game, home games. And he pulled up in his sports car and rolled the window down. He started asking my kids what they wanted for Christmas. And then I was like, why are you so? telling this story, fam? <laughs> like, is this, he was like, he said, I'm a beat writer for the Patriots for the last 15 years. And this is the best story that you got. He was trying, they were trying to say, oh, what a great person he is. And I, like, we know that, right? That's fine. But it's just like, yo, come up with something. Right. Mm-hmm. Or, or yeah. just don't say nothing. They, they've told so many Tom Brady stories because he's been oh, a go for about fucking seven years now. Right? At least, at least. <laughs> so it's like it's, the highlight of his whole career though is him coming getting picked last. There was I watched a little yeah, bit of a six, documentary, sixth round. Yeah, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. for him, for for Drew, Bre- what, what was the quarterback? Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe? Drew Bledsoe. For him who to was, get hurt, still good. For him to get hurt <laughs> and him never see the field again yeah. after Tom Brady got on there, that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> like, impressive, bro. Never again. In a Patriot right. uniform, yeah. Brady was saying Wait a in the document. He was like, "Yo, when I get my chance, I'm gonna take off." Yeah, you know and how he that's got hurt? Exactly what? How did he get hurt? He's playing the Jets. Jets. He got laid out. Yep. Mo Lewis fucking hurt him. Oh, that's yeah. what you remember on the sideline. Yeah, I gotta count your highlights. Go ahead, bro. You, you're welcome, Tom Brady. Go ahead, bro. Right. <laughs> we fucking made you. <laughs> <laughs> and he thanked you out for the we, next 15 years. Yeah, we fucking, <laughs> like, yo. fucking made. This how you repay us. <laughs> yo. Oh man, he gave you a shot. It's a lot of people that can't come in at the star quarterback yeah, and hold you know that it. down, bro. So, but nah, man, salute to him. Yeah, anything else for one more sports? Yeah, I, I just be noticed, huh? More sports? Yeah, no, we done with the sports. All right, cool. I, I'm done. Thank you, Brian Fuentes. Who's that? He's from New York. So you oh, you gotta ignore me anyway. No, okay, sorry. cool. <laughs> and his last name is Flores. That's his name. But, but, sued, huh? nah, yeah, nah, Brian, nah, yeah, he's on <laughs> chill. Brian Flores. Uh, he was a former head coach of the uh, Miami Dolphins. Mm-hmm. But really shouldn't have got fired because they actually had a pretty good year. Yeah, he, he, he was actually really got fired. He's nah. a really good coach, actually. I'm yeah, not just saying that shit because he's a black dude. Like, right. Then what they, he turned him around, but go ahead. Yeah, fired him yeah. for making him better. So, I mean, it's NFL. In the statement, uh, basically, yeah, he, right, he, he came with a class action suit, but I'm going to read his part. He said, God has gifted me with a special talent to coach football. Um, but the need for change is bigger than my personal goals. In making the decision to file a class action suit against the NFL today, I understand I may be taking. And risking my coaching career in the in the in the position that he loves, my sincere hope is that by standing up against systemic racism in the NFL, others will join me to ensure a positive change is made for for generations to come. I thought she was about to say something. No, 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 no. So, Brian Flores basically like he was fired in my opinion for no goddamn reason. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, you cannot look at what he's done since he's been in, but like nah, that was trash. You gotta go. Like it, it was that was one that I was like totally. That was one that everybody on ESPN was like, yeah, for what? <laughs> yeah, almost made the playoffs. Yeah, like, wait, for, have you seen that roster? <laughs> like, that was, like, he underachieved. He overachieved. Right. Like, with a roster that I, nobody thought was good. Yeah. Like, so for them to, to like, to get rid of him, like, and, and knowing that he's doing this, and he said in the statement, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm never going to get hired in the NFL again after this. Oh, I disagree. But go ahead. I see, I see why he says that. Right, but hold on, Colin Kaepernick's on the phone for you. Listen, nah, that's a totally different, different situation. I think it depends on how fast the NFL sweeps it up. I don't think it's gonna go, it's gonna get too big. I, I, honestly, I feel I don't I don't feel like this is gonna be something we're gonna hear about a lot. And with that being said, if it doesn't get a lot of press, you know what I mean. He doesn't wild out on his own end. I feel like he'll be able to get another job at, at some point. But let's go back. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, Will, you were saying something before when we was talking, right? One of the teams that you sued is our team. Yeah. Why? Tell me more about that because you said you felt like um, I didn't know if you was just what? shooting or what. No, so from, from, from what I've read from the Giants' actual page, mm-hmm. it was showing the documents, uh, the the um, articles of him yeah. saying he's going to sue. But what they saying it stemmed from him filing the lawsuit was Bill Belichick sent him a congratulations text message saying, "I see you landed, congratulations" type thing. And he was thrown off like, "What do you mean? They just hired the ball? I interviewed Thursday." Yeah. And Belichick was like, "Oh, I just jacked up." Because basically, he 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 text Bill Belichick text Brian Flores instead of Brian the Bull. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And so wait, how is this clearing up our Giants? Nah, this sounds like you're on that on that end. On that end, <laughs> only reason I can't you can't necessarily say that the Giants are are showing any type of racism. Yeah. You say is because the way the Giants were going about their hiring process, mm-hmm. as far as with anybody being as far as the head coach, it all stemmed from the GM. And they, they stated that from when they fired, when Gellerman stepped down and uh, the uh, Joe Judge got fired. They said, from here on out, we're going to give all full control to the next GM. Mm-hmm. So that being said, once 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 um once, uh that all that happened, the GM uh, was found. Mm-hmm. Previously, before that, John Mara called Brian Flores and said, you, you're, you're on our number one, you're number one on our list as mm-hmm. far as 
But, but he still get the job, job though. No, and the reason why is because when they hired the new GM, Jim Schoen, his 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 top guy was for head coach was Brian DeBall because they've had a previous history and a relationship. Yeah. So he was gonna bring him up anyway. And see what's crazy, Brian DeBall wasn't even necessarily being interviewed at the same time as Flores, you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like he already has his own thing going with the Vikings and all that. But <laughs> when, when Jim broke. Schoen got in, he called the ball up to, to interview. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So it kind of looked like a backdoor thing. So this don't sound kind of funky to you? All of this, what you're saying? No, sound kind of funky because the Giants stated, "Hey, when we hire our GM, he's gonna have yeah, full control." control it, yeah. it sounds like you're passing the buck, bro. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm a Giants fan, and I can say that. Like, I, all I'm, I hadn't read the article. I'm just going for what you're telling me mm-hmm. and how I'm hearing it. To it it sounds kind of funky to me, bro. Because if, if they were to, if, all right, say for instance, they were to hire Jim no Schoen and, and ended up going with Florida, it looks contradicting to what they, the initial plan right. was, was to allow the GM to have full control. That's not allowing the GM to have full control if you bring him a GM in and he doesn't want the guy. So here go my question. Because we wanted before us. We called him first. So why would they even waste your time interviewing him if you're going to say, oh, we're going to let the GM handle all of that? That doesn't make sense to me. Because the NFL has a Rooney rule. No, 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 no. You can't cop out on the Rooney Rule. It's, because, not, it's not a cop out. Let me finish what I'm saying. Because the GM would have to follow those same rules. See what I'm saying? You would have waited to hire the GM and then say, no, you bring him in and you interview him as well. They didn't do that. They said, no, this is the guy we wanted. They say, yeah, our GM had got a relationship with somebody else. That's the part that I'm talking about I got an issue with. So, and this is my first time hearing about yeah. it. And I'm a Giants fan and I can be objective well, about see, it. They so. also said that all John Mara and other uh, owners were going to have a say so. Jim Schoen said this. They're all going to have a say so on who picks as getting picked as head coach. Right. Nah, ultimately, it, start, it, it, it ended up with the GM. So. God damn it. it, it, it y'all, if, y'all, if y'all believe, I'll be trying to y'all believe for one second that the fucking Giants are not uh, allowing somebody else to hire this coach, y'all smoking rock. The Giants been hiring the same fucking kind of coaches and the same kind of GMs for the past Wait. 30 years. That's just a fact. I'm going to let you rock because it's you. I'm going to let you rock because it's a fact. <laughs> okay. like, like, every, every one of the last 30 year GMs yeah. have been connected to the other one before that. Yeah, they've all been in the mob. I yeah. get it, yeah. Like they've all it's been like, Even when they had a black GM, he was connected to the one before that. Yeah. And I mean, he was trash, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the Giants. Franchise has always been about legacy and franchise yeah. things like that. But all right, let's get out of that because um, we ain't nobody yeah, watching no more. But um, um, wait, wait, this <laughs> shit. I didn't do that. I want to say. All right. What was the last thing y'all want to Super Bowl? All right, yeah. God, keep it going. That's oh, not good. I wasn't alive. I don't know. I wasn't alive. I don't recall. <laughs> you was definitely alive. Definitely. All right, so I got into a, a, a music debate with uh, my 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 boy from New York. So he's a oh boy. I didn't hear about this. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, so it was a, uh, it was a, it was about, it's about New York rap, and oh and and where it was, and it was based on a, a conversation we had on the show, mm. a little like two episodes. Ago. Oh, he was watching. Okay, yeah. right, cool. So is this Carl? First of all, it is in fact. Okay, cool. So we were talking about. You know, <laughs> he's like, like oh, what he's like, why do he said why does Atlanta feel like they run hip hop? I was like, I was like, I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> I was like, but. <laughs> I, I, like they've had a wild run, like it, they just have. Yeah. Like it's not my opinion. Like it's really what what has happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, he's like, so you now you feel Atlanta's a mecca hip hop? I was like, I would never say that because mm. that's not true. He's funny trying to put the words. I was, in I, I said, and I was like, things. I said that's not true. Mm. He was like, do you think people from Atlanta believe that? I was like, of course they do. They're from there. Yeah. Why would I not believe that? Mm. <laughs> like if I if I was from there, but. I'm waiting for the question. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. good. I'm waiting for so, the question. So Let's we we go back and forth, and we took him out. He was like. I was like, I was like, honestly, man, New York needs needs new blood. Like all of, all of our great rappers, are fucking my age and older. Right. You know what I mean? Like they just are. I was like, said, and the young cats that I thought might have had a chance to kind of dig in there. What happened? Was Pop. Mm. He made his demise mm. prematurely. Hey, yes. I mean, hey Boogie. Hey, hey Boogie was. And then I was, and, and then Pop, I was yeah. talking about it. I was like, you know what? I said, you know what's different now with New York hip hop versus like when I was coming up and like those cats. Like yeah, Davies is Davies is lyrical. Davies is in his thirties, y'all. He's not. <laughs> How young they gotta be? I, I like because I got questions now because yeah, right. I got like uh, yeah. Go All ahead. right. So, and and Davies as much as I love Davies as an artist, like Davies wasn't as big as possible even before he passed. Right. Like he just wasn't. But Davies Davies sound is is very very like late nineties. Yeah, it's yeah. very very like regional. It's like very, and I don't mean, I don't mean I don't, yeah. Yes, yeah. he he's nice. I was like, but I don't know how much bars. Lyrical. Matter anymore? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, coming up and like from, in New York rap in general, like that shit mattered. Like you really had to be nice. Mm-hmm. 
Like you really had to be nice. No, no, no. Keep going because I, yeah. I, I just had an example. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like you, you really had to be nice in order to get into it. And like, and I just think a lot of that changed. Mm. And and that's not to shit on any rappers that's from the south anywhere else because they got some cats that get busy. Tap that screen real quick. Um, and Africa, if you, you you're wilding if you believe that Dave East is a. But th- this is what I'm saying. Like you, you. There, there's several points that you touched on, mm-hmm. and I don't want to gloss over them because we got oh we got some time. All right, so I want to get Court's opinion on that because you know we the OGs when it comes to this. Go oh, ahead. Uh, no, well, yeah, you claim that if you want to. Nah, I'm, I'm happy to be home. Yeah, bro. Listen, I'm looking forward to it. Listen, and, and you can have it, bro. Listen, I'm outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> Court, let me know what you think about everything. Well, all right, I don't want to narrow you down to what Will said because you said a lot. But go ahead, Court. How, how do you? How yeah, would you, you like to respond? Call the question. Um, <laughs> no, I want him to just respond think, because you said several. You made yeah. several good points. I think or that, questions. I think that with Atlanta, they found they found an identity. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And before New York Turn had up. had an identity, mm-hmm. which was like bars, like like Will was saying, bars was our identity type thing. You know what I mean? Then Atlanta came out with trap music. The South came out with trap music. Whatever we call it, they kind of had that that identity of what they what they were, how right. they were gonna go about things. And mm-hmm. then New York just kind of like when bars wasn't a thing anymore, we didn't have an identity. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. no, so it's like, and then we, we wasn't we wasn't really getting that that attraction like we used to, you know what I mean? Because it's, it wasn't the wave, you know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't have an idea of how we was going to establish ourselves. And, and then what happened is, and I never thought I would see it. Like New York started biting Atlanta shit. Mm-hmm. You never thought you would see it? No, they following the money. What are you talking about? Like why would you not? Yo, when things went out west, everybody started following out west and what they was doing. What are you talking about? Like, Even when the west was hot, New York rapping sounded like they were from New York. <sighs> Africa asking good questions. Africa asking. Listen. Okay. So French is not what? Lyrical? Africa. No, 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 no. She's oh. saying as far as on and popping. And she's talking about Griselda and what they doing and things like that. So I think now that with New York rap, that it's, it's found in identities with the UK beats. You get what I'm saying? It's about the drill? The drill. The drill, the drill, okay. drill. But what makes it unique is, the, like I said, the UK sound to it. You know what I mean? It's not new. It's not something that's been... Yeah. Pioneered by them, but it's been something that's and been, it has being carried. Yeah. You get what I mean? And they're carrying that sound, and it's kind of what's, what's putting them back out out there. You know what I mean? Is it enough for you to make your make yourself listen to new artists who are doing that type of music? Yes. Listen. Okay. When I say listen to, spend money on is what I really care about. Whether it be streaming, whether it be I'm not spending money. Whether it be, <laughs> nah, just to the fact it's whether it be saturated. going to see concerts, that's what I need. So yeah. That that's what I'm asking. So, nah, not really. That's not, how we can not tell. Since pop, I ain't gonna hold you. How else can we tell what really is going on right now if you're not spending money? If you're not trying to go to these shows, if you're not trying to stand in line and see what's going on, it's different for me because I'm playing these records. Right. So even then, I'm getting the records for free because you know, right. established. I, I think New York was in trouble when I went to visit. This is not recent, but like I remember when at, at the height of Atlanta, and I went to New York and I turned on the radio. And, it, and, and their top eight at eight, or their top whatever it is, <laughs> but that's a different issue. That shit had fucking. It, there was two New York artists. That's not. It's not fair. It's not a fair thing. Be, let me tell you why. Without nerding y'all out, shit, I hate doing this. Okay, give me fifteen seconds. Go ahead. So everything changed from the Telecommunications Act of nineteen ninety six. I know I'm about to bore the shit out of y'all, but I'm gonna make it quick and short. So when they started um, combining and allowing these big corporations like clear channel to start buying up smaller stations mm-hmm. it created one nationwide playlist so they wanted to make sure that everybody was in line because it meant more money for them so we're going back almost 18 7, 17 18 years now from that change that thank you bill clinton is what caused all of that so what we see after that when you see the loss of independent artists having access to um local radio when you see that you have the same top 888 on in chicago atlanta and new york it goes back to that it was because of money so it's not just that simple to say, uh, hey, y'all, newsflash. Money been the root of this shit since no, the beginning of time. No, 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 you can't. I can't. It, it's, easy, it's easy for you to like to nerd me and say that's not what it is. But I don't give a fuck what was involved. Why Yo, you, y'all, Atlanta mm, was hotter than us. Mm, Call it mm, what it is. Mm, mm, but that's why what I'm do we have to use this, this as an excuse no, 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 why no, no, we no. wasn't fucking no, no, rocking no, 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 like no, no, that? No, 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 It's not an excuse. That's not the reason either. Let me say, let me say this, because you about to be queens out here. What I'm saying is they choose... Which songs are going to go nationwide? Yo, they were making better music, y'all. Can we get? Can it we doesn't matter. It, I, does. it don't matter. But we can we <laughs> not? Were they making better music than us? Um, let me tell you something. A Boogie yo, was truthfully, what they, what they, what they making on, better before music before than us? Hold on, before we get there, hold on a second. You're saying you're asking me was 
the South making better music at that time than us in the late nineties, early two no, thousands. I'm not saying that. I'm what year about, you talking about? I'm talking about like after that. Uh, <laughs> right, right around that track. 2010, when they, when they 2010 started getting big. 2000. Oh no, 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 no. we already no. fast. Yeah, there was already a done deal like by that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm talking about we the old, come back. We gotta come back. We gotta old come back. something or others. So, like I said, Telecommunications Act of 1996 is when it started. So we're saying, but I still lived in New York in the in the in the, in the 2000, and that shit was not getting rocked. Would you remember? Do you remember one song, "Quick to Back Down," Nas nah, featuring Lil John? That was a significant turning point. I was right. like, yo, and that shit was money. not on the top nothing in New York. But the point is. It was a significant moment because it was Little John and Nas. Yeah. Even though it was under Braveheart's you know, tag. We always, I'm just giving you an yeah, example. I know. But we've always been trying to do crossovers with, with Down South artists. No, we don't always do it. I, I'm saying they didn't just start. Like, this shit was, was taking place for a minute. There was, yo, fucking, like, Big Pippin. Was, well, that shit is old Nas, as you hell. Can't, you can't deny that Atlanta didn't have a wave. And, and, okay. and then, then, then continue like, to wait. So to say it was because we changed the laws and that's how all Regardless these of the artists got popping, part. that's not true. That's almost like trying to say Atlanta didn't get popping. It was only because of this. No, no, no. That's it's not like crazy. saying anything. I'm telling you what the laws changed when it went nationwide and we okay. started having all the same artists on the same top right. eight So eight. two things that's could be true. That's what I'm saying. So two things could be true. Not in this case, but go ahead. That helped. No. Nope. And, and, go ahead. I'm sorry. And Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta was killing us. Atlanta was. Atlanta was like at so. Two time. things could be true. Atlanta was so that could be true, and Atlanta was killing. Because okay, let's go back. Ah shit, how much time we got? Okay, cool. So let's go back from ninety eight to two thousand four. Sound like I'm from Atlanta? No, that's fine. That's no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's be actual and factual. Yeah, I, yeah. I was here since ninety six. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got to so, see both sides. Yeah, yeah, I got no. I was. I live both sides. Yeah. So right. that's the difference part. So what I'm saying. So two thousand four is like Kanye fifty and all of them pop back off. Yeah, everything before then was like what diplomats and and some J, right? Don't disrespect Jay like that. I'm not disrespecting anybody. Okay, I'm yeah, just being yeah. actual. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. just being actual. Diplomats was very... The South hadn't, hadn't took over yet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So you're not going to hear Diplomats in Atlanta. No. You know what I'm saying? They love Cam, but you're not going to hear it on the radio. But isn't that kind of contradicting the whole Clear Channel? This no, no. TV? And they weren't on the radio. I'm not talking about the radio at this point. Okay. I'm using it as a culture movement. Okay. See you know what I'm saying? So you're talking about 97 and 98 and all of that. You're talking about Outkast. You're talking about Goody Mob. You're talking about all of that. That was what was moving in Atlanta as well as um, a various amount of others just for lack of time. I'm not going to get in, into all of that. Right. But the point is, that's where the movement was going. It was a very soulful sound. Eric Badu and, and, and yeah. Dre was kicking it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, all of that was a, a, a big change for when it comes to black and urban radio. So when Atlanta picked up on that and they started seeing the numbers that Atlanta was doing, mm -hmm. oh, wait, we can move this elsewhere. And not saying mm -hmm. it didn't deserve it, yeah. but that's what happened. You right. see what I'm saying? So fast forward all of that, that first time, the first time that New York had another true reaction to it in the age range that we're talking about, because Jay was mm -hmm. over 30, you know what I'm saying? We was doing, you know, no more button ups and yeah. all of that. We was doing that. Yeah. But you talking about the, the youngins? Nah. You see what I'm saying? It was 50. It was a little bit of diplomats and it was Kanye. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So by that point, it was already far gone because now you had the T.I.'s coming up. You had the young blood. You had so many other people from crazy. Atlanta. It was flooded. Because I remember a time, let me say this and I'm going to let y'all respond and I'm going to be done Not with good. it. I'm going to be done with it. I remember there was a point in time when the music industry, and this is my, this is my thoughts. I have no proof of this. <laughs> I'm just being clear. Bill Clinton did it. I remember when they only wanted well, I felt like they only wanted Atlanta, one Atlanta artist to really pop off. Because mm. think about it. One at a time. T.I. One at a time. T.I. popped off it was by T.I. Jeezy popped off. It was Jeezy. When it got the two chains, it was it was yeah, chains. You okay. see what I'm saying? It was never a conglomerate until 07, 08, 09. And I was like, oh, shit, the crazy. gates are open. Because yeah. remember, Gucci was still underground at yeah. this time. Gucci wasn't on the radio. Migos was underground. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, all right, my bad. I know I said a lot. No, 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 no. That was it. Uh, I, I, I give me back I, on my damn, my damn panel. This was actually talking no, no, about no, my yeah, panel. Like, this anyway. is, <laughs> like, but like, I, that's why I was like, me and him got this. You know I, mean? I was like, yo, I was like, you making it sound like I'm against New York hip hop. Like, and I'm but not the facts like the facts. That. I was like, yo, it's what happened. It was, like, it's I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even saying that I like that shit better. I, I didn't. If I'm being honest, but, but we're talking about the facts. Yeah, the facts are the facts. Like, it's what happened. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I, I, I say that to say like I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, looking. Doctor, what up? I'm looking for that. Mm -hmm. Like where I'm looking for that next. Like 
New York guy. That that guy. Movement. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for the next wave. Yeah. And like I said, before Pop died, like I could see like, all right, this kid is gonna like he got oh, he was out of here. Yeah, yeah, Pop like, was out of like, here. Like, like he I got, got a wide way. Picking up speed with, with like I said with the UK beats. It's, it's a lot of them are using K Flock, yeah. B Love, a lot of Bronx cats. Yeah. You know, it's 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 getting there, you know what I'm saying? With that beat. That's yeah. what, that's what's giving them that the identity. Music, yeah. You know what I mean? If you had okay, not seeing that anywhere else. All right, let me ask you. So if you had you just said a couple names that I don't even Name one or two artists that people need to pay attention to right now coming out of New York, no matter what they're doing. Young youngins, uh, let's say under 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 twenty eight, if you know the age. Like a drill, a drill artist. It don't have to be drill artists. Okay. Whatever. But like that's the shit though. But like, uh, <laughs> I, I ain't mean to put that. I'm just asking to ask because you know this is what matters. And what you're listening to, fuck what Billboard is doing, fuck what the streams are doing. What is Court listening to? Because you're in the age range, I'm damn sure not. So let me know what what are you playing we right got, now? We got Busy Banks, Ron Suno, come on, Be Love, come on, a lot of the Bronx cats. Let's K-Flock. go, let's go. Uh, for him, uh, who else we got? Um, shit, that's a lot. I'm only writing yeah. these shit. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> are, are, are they all a part of the same camp, or these are just different? Different. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. From the Bronx, but, that's what I'm but talking it's, about. It's, that's it's what I'm talking case, about. Yeah. See, this is why like, we have these conversations yeah. because I need to know and, these. And that's how the wave is created, ladies and gents. Yeah, like the, the trap wave came and you everybody. Got smooth, you got yeah. smooth L, twenty two Gs. Come on, out that way. Yeah. Come on, come on. Like they, they, I love they, it. The artists are out there. Shout out to the forties. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no. Nah. Hey, um. Let's <laughs> see you did that. Face <laughs> just, just asked the question and asked like a New York artist, artist not just putting in the work. I, I don't think that's it. Face. No, nah, they putting in I the work. I think they putting in the work. I just think it's not necessarily getting the national attention yet. But it's it's coming. Like I said, I I, I think the cat was really really leading that that wave was pop. You know what I mean? Along that drill thing. Because once you open it up, much like trap music, like you said, like that got started, T.I. came in, the crack think, it open, I think pop, and the fucking, the, the water just started running through that motherfucker. I think pop made it fun again, as far as the music, yeah. like how we, how we used to rock out with, with you know, mm-hmm. how we had chicken noodle soup and all these different types of songs with the dancing and everything. Yeah. It made, it made mm-hmm. people made people get more creative with it instead of necessarily yeah. what we, our, it our is, originality was, was the bars and That's the, it. The, the heavy. And the shit got old. Thing. Call it what it is. Yeah. You think it got old? Not to me. I'm old, fucker. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, as far as like, if, if you are, if you are new or, or even young, no, even younger than court, like, I don't like coke rap may not fucking feel the same to you. You might be like, I don't want to hear this shit. You think right. French is old in Orleans? What you doing? No, French makes French makes bangers. French, yeah. yeah, I'm about to say yeah. French, I gotta stop. French makes bangers. I'm not gonna say that. I gotta respect the French name. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I'm just using that as an example. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but like, he makes bangers. But like, like, even with French making bangers, like, it's not a new wave. It's kind of like. All right, this is a hit record. Yeah, like, but we've heard this hit record before. You know what I mean? Drill was like, this is different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When trap music comes along, mm-hmm. wait, 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 this is rap, but this ain't this ain't the same rap. This mm-hmm. is something different. Right. When the Migos come out fucking mumble rapping, like this is. Can rap, you even call them is... mumble rapping? Do you understand them now? Well, you, you don't heard them for the past fucking fifteen. I'm just asking, years. like, at what yeah, point is it? It's kind of yeah. like when you're around somebody with a crazy accent. At some point, you're gonna understand what the fuck they say. <laughs> I'm mean, just of, being honest. It's, like, a, it's a lot of reasons. I even be hearing this. I'm like, oh shit, I know what he said just now. Fully, yeah. Like I really Detroit, they found my identity with Day Flow. Yeah, they coming for listen, man. Yeah, they coming. Yeah, I'm talking about a lot of people biting that flow. Yeah, yeah, they coming. They coming. Yeah, so the people asking, what's the next wave? That so, may be so, a nah, conversation. Good hands, man. Like it's coming from everywhere, and that's the thing is, it's done got so crazy that like I love different sounds from everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 I love Forty Two Doug, and even though I don't like, I think like he's so different, and I don't think he's great, but like I like the fact that it's not like everybody else. Like I love the originality of it is what this, what's ill to me. Mm-hmm. That's what that's why I thought drill was ill. Like damn, mm. like that shit don't sound like nothing else. Okay, you know what I mean. And and like they was making ill shit. It was working. Okay, you know what I mean. The same thing that got Atlanta in there. Like that don't sound like nobody else. Mm. They put Unique, what up, bro? Putting a wild little twang on this shit, and this shit is going. Okay, okay. So so what's next? What are y'all looking forward to? Me. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, I was trying to wrap this up. Man. <laughs> I killed one man. My bad. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, if it's you, it's you. All right, I mean, you know, you from Queens. I want to hear that shit. We're questioning that anyway, so it's fine. It's cool. Take it back. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to stick that in there, mumble rapper. Oh man, not a mumble rapper. I'm just saying, yo, are you caught up? On, nah, don't, no, I am. No, I don't believe I, that bullshit. How much? Tell you how much time we got. You want to? You want to come? You wanna, yeah, no, Lord. All right. Oh, so, I just like wrap this shit up. So. Go ahead. I, I want to talk about music further, but I think we need to continue right, on. So, no, no, ain't no shut it down. It's more of... Want to talk about power. Be concise. I, I kind of do want to talk about power. I kind of do. <laughs> yes, yeah, Yo, it's been... <sighs> okay. 
What she said? She said, get the fuck out. That's just not what she <laughs> said. That's not what she said. All right. Um, you said you got Eli minutes. Oh, shit. Eli minutes left. <laughs> I know what that means. Though. See? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You really want to talk about power, though? No, no, no. We don't. We don't have right. to. Like, like, listen. The blogs do it enough. Hit, hit the screen. Are, are we going? So we gonna wait till the actual finale. To, to you right about that, the ear doctor. Yeah, yeah. What do you say? He said NY bit off down south for trap and Jack UK for drill. Speaking of which, yo, I'm glad you brought that up. Oh, that, oh, now, wow. the, now the bit off trap. I, I ain't gonna say, I, but the UK I can vouch for for sure. Yeah, like I said they I did. They didn't pioneer, but they nah, definitely right. carrying it. I got though. it. They carrying. We ain't listening to no UK artists. Name one. I will give hundred dollars. No, I, right. can't. I I know that one dude that be on the Drake records when I first heard the UK rapper. Oh, that yeah, that's, that's, that's a skip. I, I don't even know his name. Yeah, that wasn't even it for me. Skepta? No, I said that's a skip. No, his name is Skepta. Is no, what that, was on, that was on Meek's album. Oh no, it was Skepta on Meek. I think it was on there. I think it was on there. It was like a. Uh, he said that shit was a hard skip for me. Hard Yo, skip. Skepta is dope as hell. So anyway, so no, so no, all right, we're not. Maybe it was a record. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We 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 got to show us some organization to do. Um, so next week we are coming back with um the predictions. And then get. Huh? Oh, get. Yo, you don't like get. Oh, my God. Hold on. Wait a second. You don't like get. I'm, I'm big on flow, bro. Yo. It's just. It's just you don't like get. I just don't like that repetitive. Yeah. You, for you to talk about how the Migos flow beat, that right there is. Uh, the way they rap the is thing weird. Thing go pop, pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my sock don't drop. Like, yo, like, yo, I don't shit. like that, bro. That's not even his song. Like that, that was yo. so good. Yo, so y'all gotta be accurate when y'all. And I'm being mad loud in the mic. My bad, y'all. That was so thing, good. Y'all gotta be accurate. That wasn't even his song. Hey, All right. You know what? Watch. It's just album. Whatever. It's okay. You said it's just album. The kid from Snowfall. Whatever. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of oh, here. <laughs> they off the rails tonight. All right, so next week we we back to we're gonna get back to some uh, uh, relationship discussions, and I believe, oh, I believe, I believe, I believe we're gonna have some in studio guests. Um, Yo, shout out to Nas not having a relationship con- no conversation we, this week. Yeah, we, hey. that was big for you, bro. Congratulations. We're we talking we talk relationships before you. Valentine's Day. Yeah, before it's Valentine's Day, and I had nothing to take you. Casey Grant, what up, G? Um, that, no, that's an accomplishment for because, because I've been on the road like what last three weeks. Yeah, I brought up yeah, relationships yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then I was bringing up manhood and fatherhood and shit. Lot, lot My man for trying to influence nah, 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 our life that was, and shit. Fine, that was fine, that was fine. Oh, those are fine, but just yeah, not relationships. Fuck all that. Yeah, because um. Why the fuck? All right, man. Get us I just, out of here. I'm just man. trying to not talk about the same. You know, <laughs> y'all know me, man. If I'm gonna do this, if we gonna do this. The tingle pop pop pop. Hang on, we're gonna crank the car up. Come on, yeah, no, 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 we get, no, we get out of here. We get out of here. We go. Because it's February. It's it's Black History Love Month. Black Future Love Month. That's what we talking about next next week. Come on, listen, man. Listen, man. Congratulations to you. Um, I didn't know that's what was happening. But anyway, it's like you're gonna touch me. <laughs> we see y'all next week, man. Um, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Seven twenty p.m. ish. Shout out ninety two point six. Get your tacos ready. Toy show. We outside. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck, I'm saying. Why are you always trying to move out of here, man? I'm not doing that. Yo, we're moving like, yo, let's get out of here. You're still loud. Be careful what you say, man. That's fine, but it's true, though. That's like, 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 move that. All right, cool. We done. I mean, because I want to, I got to hit the X. What X?